Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Viking Size Gamer, and last night we were graced with the greatest Royal Rumble in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. There were many things that happened last night, and some of them were quite exciting, and some of them were very controversial. But what I want to go through today for you is 10 ways the greatest Royal Rumble changes WWE 2K19. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking, how does this change the game at all? Well, it may or may not. This is completely opinion and conjecture as to whether or not it will make any difference towards WWE 2K19, but the way I see it, these changes could be fantastic if they are implemented and anything does come of them. Just like we did with the WrestleMania video beforehand with 10 ways WrestleMania changes WWE 2K19, this is 10 ways that the greatest Royal Rumble changes WWE 2K19. So why don't we just jump straight into it. So for this, we have noticed recently there has been an upward trend in the amount of matches that have been on a WWE pay-per-view. Not, well, basically including the pre-show as well, you're looking at upwards of 7 towards 9 or even 11. There has been so many more matches and I'm hoping that this year this gets action in WWE 2K19 with the possibility of having possibly a pre-show on this game as well because it makes sense to have the extra matches in there if you're going to have an extravaganza like the greatest royal rumble or even wrestlemania or longer matches like SummerSlam or the normal royal rumble it seems to me like this should be an option of maybe extending the amount of matches that could be in wwe 2k19 for any given pay-per-view at a time let's face it if you're doing the dual branded pay-per-views these days you're going to need those extra match spaces if you're going to have to defend every single title on this pay-per-view. It's crazy. The amount of matches that you have to have just to cover pay-per-views, just to cover the actual championships, just to cover the rivalries, you're gonna need a lot of matches now. You should really be able to put as many in as you want into universe mode, so hopefully this will have it covered. Greg Hamilton has been doing a fantastic job on the SmackDown brand as well as 205 Live and formerly of NXT and I am a massive fan of the way that he announces for this team and at the Greatest Royal Rumble he put in another stellar performance and I am really a massive fan of the way he announces superstars entering the ring. It reminds me of a, maybe a modern version of Howard Finkel but I am just absolutely in awe of the way he does this presentation of this so I would really like like it to know if he actually managed to record any new lines for WWE 2K19. It seems to me like he would be a logical choice. Having JoJo announce absolutely everything seems a bit of a pain and maybe they could spread that out between the announcers on there. Greg Hamilton would definitely be a fantastic choice and addition for WWE 2K19 as an announcer on there. The casket match has been away for a long time now we're talking years it's been like 10 years since the undertaker had actually participated in one himself so at this point we lost hope for the casket match ever actually returning to wwe 2k19 or 2k series at all but this this changes everything now there is a glimmer of hope that a casket match may possibly make it into WWE 2K19. So hopefully with the match that they've just had, there's a possibility that it could get into the game. Of course, it has been in previous versions of WWE games in the SmackDown vs. Raw series. It did get removed, but the, basically the foundation for the game is there. The foundation for this match is there it is an old code whether or not they can update it for this one and change things around i don't i'm not sure but maybe they could go back and just remake the assets the good thing is is that this has been done before so there's no reason why they can't do it again a 50-man royal rumble match completely makes sense now we've had it at the royal rumble the greatest royal rumble should we say and now it seems more likely to be in the game. The way they could implement this is simply by changing a few of the options in the match creator. Well, the main one would basically be the amount of participants that you can have in a match. Now I have 
pushed this a little bit and suggested it in a previous video that you should be able to change the match participants, the amount of match participants anyway in the game, especially for something like the Royal Rumble. You should be able to have anywhere from 10 upwards to, well, a maximum now of looks about 50. And the previous thing that I said as well is that you should be able to change the amount of participants in a match up to the amount of 8 which means that you can have odd numbers, which means you can have a fatal five-way or even an eight-man elimination chamber match. It seems completely logical to me to do this now. This seems to be the key way to implement it, unless of course somebody has a better suggestion, I'd like to hear it down in the comments. Shinsuke Nakamura debuted a new theme and a new entrance on SmackDown last week. Now, while they were introducing the new theme, the remix now called Shadows of a Setting Sun, it seemed like this would be the opportunity for them to show off the video, maybe Jura's entrance a little bit more, and we thought that would be that, and that he just used that music from then on. But it seems now, with the confirmation of the Greatest Royal Rumble, that actually his entrance will constantly start with that music video the way it does, introducing him. So I am very happy to see this because I absolutely love this new theme for Shinsuke Nakamura. Yes, of course, you can't sing along with it unless, of course, you're quite good at Japanese or you know you just decide to learn the song out and out but that's up to you I'm just quite happy just popping my head along to it it's pretty damn good I'm very very happy with this new remix of it but this is what it seems like it's going to be from now on so new entrance for Shinsuke Nakamura As we all know, there were two returning legends at the Greatest Royal Rumble, and that was Hornswoggle and the Great Carly. Now, of course, this depends on your interpretation of a legend, but these are former WWE, and they are alumni, which is great because the Great Carly did have a sort of decent run. He's a former world champion, and Hornswoggle was just ridiculously entertaining, as he always has been. So I wouldn't mind seeing them back in WWE 2K19 just to maybe build upon the roster as they have done in previous editions. This is dependent on whether 2K wants to get their image right, but it is still a possibility and it would be nice to see them as a little bit of an extension. Now I know what you're probably thinking, you're already probably sitting here thinking, but we've already got new Royal Rumble controls last year Viking, this doesn't make any sense. Well it does make sense because WWE 2K19 is supposed to be building upon what WWE 2K18 has laid the foundations for. And of course in this instance the Royal Rumble match is one of the perfect places to do this. As we've all seen in the amount of Royal Rumbles there have been over the years, there has been numerous times where people have been out of the ring and interacting outside of the ring in that way. For me, it seems logical that you should be able to leave the ring in Royal Rumble. It makes sense. If you want to go out there and you want to fight out there, then that's completely up to you. It's whether you go over the top rope to get there or not, which is where it makes a difference. If you decide that you want to go outside, then obviously your character's going to go through the middle rope and they're going to have a fight outside and they're going to get interactive with things. And that's where things are going to get a little bit more interesting because I'm guessing the AI will probably want to get you back in the ring as soon soon as possible, but if you can get out there and interact with people and start beating them up on the outside, possibly use the tables to your advantage, then why not? It seems like it's a logical next step for the Royal Rumble control scheme. It seems likely with the amount of things that have happened to the Greatest Royal Rumble that we could see some more OMG modes in WWE 2K19. The two ones that I'm really talking about for this year though will be the spear through the side of the cage that Roman Reigns performed on Brock Lesnar to subsequently lose the Universal Championship. That's weird like, that's a whole different conversation so we won't go down that route but the other one would be the absolutely massive choke slam of braun Strowman just throwing shane mcmahon from the top turnbuckle and through the ring announcers table during the greatest royal rumble that was an amazing spot both of these spots could be very well an omg moment in wwe 2k19 much like you do with super sized superhuman big people, basically like Big Show and Mark Henry and Braun Strowman 
and those guys there if you do the massive superplex from the top rope it breaks the ring in wwe 2k18 so why not in wwe 2k19 if you do the omg moment of spearing somebody through the cage in a cage match that is just automatically called off it makes sense or alternatively it just results in a win which it should have done for roman reigns um but this is just this is just one way of doing it really so this is what i think is that these two moves could be included as an omg moment in wwe 2k19 it would be so nice to see some additions in there so this is definitely a possibility this is rey mysterio's second royal rumble appearance in one year that is incredible when you think about it. Rey Mysterio has been gone from the WWE for so long now, but he has made two appearances for the company in the span of, what, three, four months? And that is a decent amount of comebacks that you'd think to yourself that quite possibly 2K may get in contact with him for being the pre-order bonus. That makes sense to me as a returning legend. We have had as pre-order bonuses, what, the Ultimate Warrior, Sting, We've also had on there Goldberg and this, what was it, Kurt Angle for WWE 2K18. It makes sense for me to bring somebody back who is a legend who's been out of the WWE for a little while now. Rey Mysterio fits that mold. He fits that character. He is an underdog. He is fantastic to watch in the ring. In fact, he's in great shape for his age now as well. And the amount of torment that he's probably put his body through, the wear and tear must be absolutely Un unbelievable but when you think about it this guy is a perfect opportunity for them to have a pre-order bonus on wwe 2k19 and it's down to 2k to decide who they want to work with they just have to get the okay from the wwe and as it seems more and more likely that this is going to happen i am really excited that he showed up because it kind of pushes us in the right direction mind you guys let me know down below in the comments if you want to see Rey Mysterio as the pre-order bonus so a new championship made its way onto the WWE roster of championships, the WWE Greatest Royal Rumble Championship. So what is this championship and where is its place in the WWE? Right now that is completely up in the air, the first title holder of this is of course the monster among men Braun Strowman. But at what point does this come to be an actual championship, is this something that he's going to defend? every month is this something that he defends once a year at a greatest royal rumble event or is this something that he could maybe cash in down the line maybe a bit like the x division title in tna where they could actually cash it in a, for a title shot against one of their world championships or is this something that braun Strowman is literally just gonna carry around for a little while and make it seem like it's important much like the andre the giant battle memorial do you remember they used to actually haul around that trophy and bring it to ringside for the winner for a little bit and now it doesn't really make any difference whatsoever this is an actual title belt though there is a trophy as well but the actual title belt it's pretty nice actually i'm actually a fan of the design but where does it fit in what does it do how do you defend it and where are you going to put it on the card it doesn't make any sense is it a lower card title is it a mid card title is it on the equivalent or on par with a world championship this doesn't make any sense whatsoever or is it just a one-off i'm completely dumbfounded as to where it's going to be placed in the hierarchy of the championships but i'm interested to find out it's a pretty championship so why not i believe possibly it could be just completely ceremonial but it'd be nice to see it either way so that has been my top 10 ways that the greatest Royal Rumble has changed WWE 2K19. Hopefully you'll think these things are for the better because I'm very interested to get your feedback so leave your comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more WWE 2K19 news and rumours as they come out. We are going to have some decent stuff coming up. At the end of May it is going to be when they formally announce WWE 2K19 as part of their financial quarterly calls. And then we'll be moving on to actually getting maybe some sort of cover reveal trailer in June. Join me then because it's going to be some really good coverage. For now what I'm going to do is leave you with a video that I've 
basically made a little while ago, hoping that Rey Mysterio would be the pre-order bonus for WWE 2K19. Let me know what you think of that, guys, and I'll catch you later.